word problem with common multiples. In your Alex Pie, mouse over the dark green slice, whole numbers, to reveal the drop down list of topics you need to cover. Click on Word Problem with Common Multiples. Here's an example problem. Tammy must choose a number between 49 and 95 that is a multiple of 4, 6, and 9. Write all the numbers that she could choose. If there is more than one number, separate them with commas. Here are my notes. The first time that I'm doing this kind of problem, I went ahead and wrote out what the original problem said for the most part. Tammy must choose a number that's between 49 and 95. That's a multiple of 4, 6, and 9. Write all the numbers she could choose. When I do these kind of problems, I just put a number line on here just to have as a visual. And then I start with the multiples of the largest number first, not the smallest one. If I started with the smallest one, 4, for all the multiples that fall between 49 and 95, I'd have a huge list. It would be like 52, 56, and so on, and it would just be, the multiples for 4 would be really, really long. So I start with 9 instead, because I know that that list is going to be shorter. So multiples of 9 that fall between 49 and 95. 9 times 6 is 54, times 7 is 63, times 8 is 72, times 9 is 81, times 10 is 90, times 11 is 99. I didn't put down 99 because it goes over 95. So I'm done here with these 5. And then for my 6 row. And so then I look at all the numbers in my 9 row and I ask myself, is 54 divided by 6, does that work into a whole number? If I get a decimal, then it's not going to work. Well, 54 divided by 6 is 9, so 54 works. 63 divided by 6 gives me a decimal, so I cross that out, that's not going to work. And then 72 divided by 6 is 12, so that works. 81 divided by 6 gives me a decimal, so that doesn't work. But 90 divided by 6 is 15, so that works. So in my 9 row, I crossed off 63 because it didn't work for 6, and 81 because it didn't work for 6. But 54, 72, and 90 all worked, so they weren't crossed off. And then for 4, I had to ask myself, 54 divided by 4, does that give me a whole number or a decimal? Well, 54 divided by 4 gave me a decimal, so then I crossed off 54 from the 6th row and 54 from the 9th row. Then I tried 72. 72 divided by 4 is 18, so that works. And last, I tried 90 divided by 4, which gave me a decimal, so that didn't work, so then I crossed off 90. And the only number that worked, the only multiple of 9, 6, and 4 that worked for all three of them was 72. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 72, and click Next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Let's try another one. Melissa must choose a number between 61 and 107 that is a multiple of 4, 5, and 8. Write all the numbers that she could choose. If there is more than one number, separate them with commas. Here are my notes. She must choose a number that is a multiple of 8, 5, and 4 that falls between 61 and 107. So multiples of 8 that fall between 61 and 107, 8 times 8 is 64, times 9 is 72, times 10 is 80, times 11 is 88, times 12 is 96, times 13 is 104, and times 14 would go over 107, so I stopped there at 104. And then multiples of 5, that knocked out quite a few of them, all of them but one, because multiples of 5 are going to have a 5 or a 0 in the 1's column, and so all of these that didn't 
I had to cross off. The only one that did was 80. And 80 is also a multiple of 4. So 80 is the only multiple of all three of those numbers that falls between 61 and 107. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 80, and click Next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.